of Teams motion is this house would allow corporations to trade trade pollution quotas. And um, before we go on to our policy, I would like to define some of the terms in the motion. Um, by trade, it's same as trading goods, and this means you pay money in order to get something you want. And um, pollution quota refers to the right that a company has to um, pollute by certain amount. Uh, for example, if the limit, the amount is like 10 tons, the corporate is allowed to dispose 10 tons of the waste they have. Uh, yes, and um, the next speaker would state the policy and explain. <coughs> I think the trade between corporations to be appropriate because uh, consider uh, corporations A, which release the potent quotas which is uh, under the limit line with, and consider the corporation B which uh, release the potent quotas over the limit line. And what these two corporations can do is by trade. By trade they can reach equilibrium and by reaching equilibrium they can produce much more products and with the uh, limited uh, now we'll go on to the specific policy. The main threat to this motion, we admit, is that the quota, the whole system, may get into the chaos during free trades, and, this, and the sense of limitation may be weakened. So, we provide the solution. Trades will be made only through the government. New committees solely concerning the matter will be formed. If there is a fund shortage, we will enforce the corporations participating in the trade to, to pay a certain amount of money. For its practicality, we will take the following measures. First, we will provide a set time, set time, that, set time that the trade will be available. This is because the constant, ex, constant ins, inspectation will, will, be hard, will be harder. And second, we will set the range of purse. This is because this is to um, prohibit any corporations for like illegally using this trade in order to raise their funds. And third, we will strengthen the inspection after the trade quota so that the, the system may, may remain staunch after this is, after this policy is after this policy passes. Thank you. So I will talk about why this policy is necessary. And as as Sajun said, um, there will be factories who need larger quotas, and there will be also factories who um, have a large amount of their quota left. So, but the government cannot always modify those, um, modify or give more give more allowance to factories who need quarters because they because that means the total amount of quota and pollution would increase and therefore mm, it would be bad, mm, not good for the environment and therefore this policy is, mm, is beneficial bo both for the market efficiency and the environment Thank you. Floor is open to questions. There's one question here. The next question will come from here. Third question here.
there be limitations on the trading? Well, like we need to admit that those who will not attend, not attend, not participate in the government trade and take the the tree, the free trade form, will will not like obey the the limitation limitation. So, like the as far we can say in in present situation is that we will enforce on high fines and. Yeah, we'll stick to the investigations. Next question. Uh, what's the actual benefit that comes from the trade? Well, if Corporation A produces more products than Corporation B, this trade, uh, they can have the uh, same total products, but they can produce more. So, if uh, Factory A can, uh, if they can produce, I mean, under what they can uh, produce, then it will be loss of the, uh, it will be disadvantages. So I think the trade will be appropriate. Next question. Uh, Producing, uh, producing, okay. producing more pollutants mm. illegally is a large risk to manufacturers. So, if there is mm, a way to buy quota, buy quotas mm, with legal trade, there will be no. That will be a way to reduce risk. Kajun, you have thirty seconds. We beg you to vote for our policy because it's necessary and beneficial and practical at the same time. It's necessary because some some corporates need more quotas than the others, as other speakers have mentioned. And it's beneficial both to uh, the country and the corporates because corporates can now um, dispose of uh, the necessary amount of pollutants and we're not um we're not allowing corporates to pollute corporations, corporations to pollute more. So it's um it's not bad for the environment and it's practical because as Sahan explained it limits uh limits the free trade and uh, keeps companies and regulations. Thank you.